there, my name is Tani. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On here I do all things roller skating, reviews, unboxings, try-ons, some how-tos, and vlogs. If that sounds like something that you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my experience ordering and getting the Harlick skate boot. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. You may have seen my most recent updated thoughts video on the Moxie Lollies and the Moon Loops. Moon Loops? <laughs> the Moon Boots? In that video, I talk about how I kind of discovered after some time with skating that I needed a stiffer boot for my ankle, especially because I was enjoying the artistic or freestyle skating so much. And with my previous experience competitively figure skating on ice, that just kind of makes sense that I gravitated to that style. I want to definitely keep growing my skills in rhythm skating and other dance style skating. And of course, I still really enjoy trail skating for exercise. I knew I needed something that was more supportive. Upon a little bit of research, I came across Harlick and they come highly, highly recommended. My personal favorite figure skater growing up is Christy Yamaguchi and they make her boots. So that's pretty crazy. So on December 2nd of 2020, I reached out to them and basically asked, hey, is there any way you can do like a metallic, shiny, or iridescent style lavender? Because lavender is one of my all-time favorite colors. It's really having its moment right now too, but I just love it anyway. I'm always gravitating towards like lighter purple colors. And they got back to me pretty quick and were like, yeah, we can see what we have. They have metallic gold and silver already. That's something that they've made in the past. And that's actually why I asked about the lavender because I'd seen their gold boots. They put in a special request to a tannery and they sent over a sample and it was gorgeous. And so we went forward on December 10th. I had a virtual fitting with them. It's really cool. They walk you completely through the process of how to measure your foot. You draw an outline and they tell you exactly how to do everything. Also, when you order boots through them, if you have any foot problems or different foot pain, they can customize the boot to work around your foot and your needs. Or you can also order more of like a standard style boot. I'll go ahead and put their link down below so you can click on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at my boots. And here they are. This color is called a lilac metallic and it is so gorgeous. I love how the laces match them so perfectly too. I wanted to give a little sneak peek of their website here because it's extremely helpful and they've updated it since I originally ordered my boots. It shows you the process and all of the different steps and it gives a lot of information that's very helpful. On top of that, it shows the options and all of the different styles of skates that they can do and all of the things that they can customize for you. They're very, very helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach out to them. It's crazy how many different things go into making a boot. And they've had so many years of experience, they have got it down to a science. If you're ever interested in watching the process, you can follow them on Instagram and they always post to their stories and they'll show the boots that they're working on and what goes into them as well as show some amazing different artistic things that they do with the boots. Definitely see why they've made such a name for themselves when you watch those videos. So if you're wondering why I don't have wheels or toe stops in my boots, I have the wheels on hand right now, but I'm waiting on the toe stops. They didn't come with the plates, even though I think that they're supposed to, but there's some on the way right now. And speaking of plates, I went with the Rollline Evo plate. It's because it's good for freestyle and spins. I uploaded some of the specs about the plates since it's a lot of information and it's just gonna explain it better than I can anyway. And then here are some of the features of the plates. For the inside of the boots, I went with tendon padding and then I just went with a standard tongue because I didn't want anything thick or extra bulky. And then here's some information about the stock boots and then the custom boots. Mine are stock boots with added options. Now that you've seen them up close, I'm going to be uploading a video here soon of the process of putting wheels on them and when I get my toe stops, putting them in. And I will be probably putting toe covers on them. I know a lot of people with the artistic style boot don't necessarily put toe covers on, 
but I am not Nicole Fiore over here. <laughs> if you know who she is, she's amazing. Due to this material being so delicate and fragile, I definitely want to protect my toes, at least while I'm learning and getting more comfortable and breaking them in. I know how incredibly fortunate I am to even be able to order and get a pair of skates like this made, as well as the plates. So I will be taking you along on my journey of breaking these in and sharing my experience and my thoughts in the future. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you again really soon. Bye bye.